welcome to ecoholics we are going to discuss a topic which has come in a lot of exams loanable funds theory given by the classicals the classicals were interested to find out the interest rate that will be prevalent in the market this interest rate is determined by the demand and supply of loanable funds these loanable funds are demanded and supplied by different economic agents let's look into the issue the equilibrium interest rate is always the rate at which the amount of funds individuals desire to have or desire to lend is just equal to the amount others desire to borrow in the bond market so we have to understand that here classicals are using the bond market on the supply side we have the supplier of bonds these supplier of bonds they will be issuing the bonds and taking the funds from the people so the supplier of these bonds are generally either the firms who require bonds for investment purposes or government whenever say government has to go ahead with a fiscal deficit so they issue bonds and they collect the loanable funds so please remember the bonds are supplied by them and loanable funds are taken by these firms and government on the demand side we have individuals who are savers these individuals they will be purchasing these bonds from these uh, firms and government to look into it in a bit greater depth we have the supply of loanable funds so i want you just to pay a little bit attention here we're talking about funds and not loanable bonds so supply of loanable funds consists of savings of individual people public makes their savings and these savings are converted into loanable funds these funds are received by financial institutions and they are made readily available to government and firms for further investment purposes for an individual saving is a trade off this is the trade off on the on the account that the individual has to make a decision that will he be going ahead and consuming his entire income or spending his entire income currently or will he save the same and postpone his consumption of the same income so this is the trade off of current consumption for the future consumption to entice customers or consumers to save and postpone their consumption there has to be some incentive given to the same the incentive is in the form of giving an interest rate what is the relationship between interest rate and savings the relationship is positive higher the incentive higher the rate of interest that you will give to a customer or a consumer who is willing to supply loanable funds this individual will be saving more so savings have a positive relationship with rate of interest as the rate of interest increases there is inducement to save and vice versa so if we have to draw the rate of interest and say the savings rate there is going to be a positive relationship here we can also replace the savings as loanable funds because savings are nothing but funds which are available to be given away as loans to the public so savings provides the demand for bonds because these bonds Uh, which are issued by government and uh, firms they will be demanded and the classical economists have called this as the supply of loanable funds with respect to the demand of loanable funds we are taking into consideration the investment and the government expenditure function demand uh, the public uh, the pub, uh, the public or economic agents who are actually demanding funds are as we said the firms or the government so here we have firms who want to invest so they will require money for the same and they will demand these 
funds from the savers at the same time whenever government goes ahead, ahead with a uh, fiscal deficit or any other de deficit then they will be demanding the same from the market so here we have demand for loanable uh, demand of loanable funds and the relationship with respect to the rate of interest is negative because the rate of interest is a cost of borrowing so whenever in the market the rate of interest increases there is an inducement not to invest and that is the relationship shown here through a negatively sloping investment or government expenditure function so here we have rate of interest and here we also have the loanable funds or investment amount there is an inverse relationship we've covered this point so cost of borrowing for the funds to finance investment projects increases if the rate of in, uh, interest increases and investments will fall when we talk about the equilibrium we will bring both the demand and supply side of the loanable funds together so here we have the supply of loanable funds this is showing a positive relationship with the rate of interest and the amount of loanable funds available again loanable funds are the total amount of funds which are available to the public in order to take a loan so as the rate of interest increases there is inducement for a saver to save more and the supply of loanable funds increases additionally we have the demand for loanable funds we've taken the interest uh, in investment uh, amount here and also the combined government and investment requirement there is a negative relationship again as the rate of interest increases the inducement or the cost uh, the inducement to uh, take up loanable funds decreases or we say that the cost of borrowing has increased as the rate of interest increases and public will uh demand lesser loanable funds so the intersection of the two here if we are taking only the public or uh, only the private investments this will be the amount of interest rate say in case the uh, government has also made some additional demand with respect to a fiscal deficit then the demand for loanable funds will increase and we will reach a new point of equilibrium here and at this point we can see that the quantity which is taken by the market of the loanable funds has increased but this increase is also with an increase in the cost of borrowing or the interest rate because the supply of loanable funds is limited here so equilibrium interest rate is the rate that equates the supply of loanable funds which is consisting of supply with the demand for loanable funds which consists of investment plus bonds financed by government the interest rate plays a stabilizing role in the classical analysis here we see that when the rate of interest is very high the supply of loanable funds exists but demand is not there this is because of the fact that demand is caused by investment which is related to returns expected profits and rate of return so in case the rate of uh, return is not expected to be very high then the suppliers of loanable fund will be willing to supply the same funds at a much higher rate of interest at the same time in case the demand is higher th then it might be possible that the supply is at a lower rate in case the profitability is higher so here we have the classical model of loanable funds i hope you understood the topic for more content please subscribe to our channel like and share the same have a good day